Meteorologist Danielle Grant in once again this Denver 7 weather action day. Yeah, we are looking at potentially a pretty busy afternoon and evening out to the north and to the east. This is our vantage point, courtesy of our Vieira Wireless Network out there in Fort Morgan. You can see in the distance certainly some pretty good storms rumbling right on through. Curtains of rain coming down and a little sunshine kind of backlit out there. Just beautiful. Nothing has been severe just yet, but we do have the possibility heading into these evening hours. Here's a look at our severe outlook. That bullseye for trouble, that's going to be right there around I-76. Sterling, Julesburg, heading into Nebraska, I'm looking at you. Put the cars in the garage because hail is definitely going to be a possibility within some of these storms, plus some really strong winds, 60, 70 mile per hour wind gusts, and tornadoes also likely. That tornado watch in place until 11 o'clock tonight. Most of the action has been across parts of the Front Range east of I-25. We have not seen anything severe yet, but a couple of storms just racing off the foothills in Jeffco and a few more out there. In in Arapahoe County. We'll zoom in just outside of DIA, another stronger storm lifting into the north, but really the strongest selves have been positioned around I-76, Hudson, Keensburg, over to Wiggins, looking at the strongest rain showers coming through and the possibility of some small hail too. This cold front kind of draped across the eastern corner of the state, helping to spark some of these storms, and they'll continue throughout the next several hours. That area of low pressure digging into the state, much of the metro area by about midnight, still kicking off some scattered showers overnight with snowfall. Yes, snowfall up in the mountains into early tomorrow morning. That cold front will drop off our daytime highs dramatically by tomorrow afternoon too. Tonight, look for temperatures falling into the lower 40s around the urban corridor, mild around Lamar, La Hanta, Springfield in the 50s with 30s, mainly up in the mountains. I'll show you our statewide future cast. Here we are about 6, 7 o'clock. Those storms that are currently in a parts of Weld County, Adams County will migrate off to the northeast and then really blow up by about 9, 10 o'clock right there, heading toward North Platte. Again, overnight we could be looking at one or two quick showers kind of racing across Larimer and Weld counties into early tomorrow morning. We'll get a brief break and then here we go by the afternoon into the evening. Another round of storms wrapping up across the I-25 corridor, stretching off to the eastern side of the state right around that dinner hour with snowfall up across Colorado's high country. Yes, those mountain passes could be a little dicey tomorrow evening. The storm system finally moves out by late tomorrow evening. We'll zoom in here to the future cast, show you about 11 o'clock or so tonight, that cloud cover in place, maybe a few overnight showers around Fort Collins and Greeley. 8 a.m. you wake up partly cloudy skies and then right after lunch, here we go again. Scattered showers and thunderstorms impacting the metro area. Good news about tomorrow, it does not look like these storms really have the oomph, so to speak, to turn severe. These uh, snow showers will be winding down up in the mountains as well tomorrow evening, but it's just kind of a cool day, a soggy day with highs only sitting in the upper 50s for the metro area, 40s and 50s for the foot hills and into the mountains. Don't worry if you like the sunshine and the heat. It's back midweek ahead of our next storm that cruises in on Friday and into the start of the weekend.